on the issue of the Palestinians and the Israelites war. I tend to believe that this is a religious matter. Because when you look at the Bible in the book of Psalms, the Bible says that Jerusalem, the Lord God has chosen Jerusalem in the book of Psalms 132. The Almighty God has chosen Jerusalem as his dwelling place and he will dwell there forever. And when you again look at the Quranic verses in Quran 258, if I'm not wrong, the Quran states that, and we say that enter the city and eat from it, the city of Jerusalem, wherever you will. And as you enter, you take a humble bow and then you say, relievers of our burdens. So you see the Quran and the Bible both talk about Jerusalem. What is the genesis of this fight before I talk about the issue of Kenyans who are supposed to be evacuated from uh, Palestine and, uh, and Israel? The history is so simple that the Palestinians believe that Palestine, Jerusalem, and Bethlehem the two cities, both being in Palestine, are homes to their prophets. The prophets that we had are pro 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 uh, Prophet Abraham, Prophet Dawood, Prophet Yahya, Prophet Isaac, Prophet Isa, whom we call Jesus, who is our Jesus. And on the same note, the Israelites, who are the Jews, who are practicing the uh, Judaism, believe that Jerusalem or rather Israel as a whole is a home for our great leaders and the almighty Jesus Christ. We believe in the Bible that Jesus was born in Bethlehem and that these cities are homes to King David, Moses, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob and Jesus the son of God. Therefore, you find that there is serious religious tension that might not be solved. A few years ago, Jerusalem, uh, not Jerusalem, but um, Palestine has been recognized temporarily by the United Nations as a state, an autonomous, independent state, but not fully recognized. But you see that they are sharing a capital city, which is Jerusalem, that is being shared by both Palestine and Israel. And as we speak, Palestine is using a city called Ramallah as its de facto capital city instead of and, and, and using Jerusalem as its de jure or de, de, jure, de jure capital city, which they rightfully believe that that should be the capital city. So there's a lot of tension because Israel also believes that Jerusalem is their capital city, although they are using Tel Aviv as their commercial or other cultural capital. So, I believe that the United Nations should move with a lot of, with too much speed to broker peace in these two nations. Let there be peace so that we don't lose lives. And I also believe that if there is no peace, then this can result to a third world war. Because as things are, you see the way countries are taking sides. Russia is taking sides with Palestine, with other uh, Arab countries, with the BRICS, United States together with Germany, France, the United Kingdom, they are taking sides with the Israel. So what about the Kenyans who are in Palestine and in Israel? The government has not spoken about their plight. And we, can, we don't know how many Kenyans have been killed there in this war. And the government should move with speed to ensure that the Kenyans who are in Palestine and who are in Israel are evacuated as soon as possible.